Hello. Good evening, everyone. Well, I'm going to tell it like it is. Unknown celestial objects. I call them planets. People say no. They could be stars. I call them stars. People say they're asteroids. I call them asteroids. People say they're comets. So it's a celestial object. I know that for a fact. It's in the sky and it's got a surface. And it's got one heck of a nice surface. These two unknown celestial objects that you're going to see are objects that I caught. I caught these staring up into the sky, straight up into the Milky Way. They're two beautiful celestial objects. And look at the surface. We're going to go look at some objects and particular areas that I am absolutely mesmerized with on this surface, on these surfaces. We're going to start with the first one. We'll call this um, Milky Way U1. And look um, at the objects that I'm going to show you and the surface, the outlining, etc. Tell me if you see anything in particular. And, you know, these are real planets, my friends. They're not objects that I made as a model. And look at the symmetrical objects that we're seeing, like here. When I say symmetrical, you see a sphere there, um, tunneling, piping also. And you're going to see a lot on these unknown celestial objects. I caught them myself. I don't take other people's photos. I don't use any of other people's photos. I use my own. And... I respect all the other people's channels, you know. And, oh, I'm not even going to get into this. You got a lot of freaky people online, guys, okay? Warlock Space Channel. I don't know what the hell this problem is. But, you know, pe some people are actually pretending that I know them. Some people have the phobic imagination that I am stalking them. And, well, I don't usually reply to that, but, uh, listen, it's my life, and it disturbs me that, uh, you know, idiots like Warlock Space Channel can do things like that, harass me in my personal messages. I don't have time to waste to send these stupid idiots to Google or, or to, to report them and stuff. There's a bunch of crybabies. I don't know what the hell their problem is are. Uh, jealousy, I guess. Guys... What do you think of the surface of this planet or planetoid? You know, it's a big enough spherical object. It's mesmerizing to see a similarity to the moon. And, you know, you really can see that possibly, yes, they these planets did form like this. You know, while it's spiraling through the air after having smashed or exploded into something, all these outlines uh, form, you know, from the heat and from cooling down, maybe. But I find some of the areas very cut out, you know, very symmetrical. Look at these two objects, okay? It looks like two letters face to face, you know? And you're looking at anomalies on the surface that are just just mesmerizing, you know, and it's very real. There's no modeling, guys. There's no adding or brushing or anything done whatsoever. And do you know that some of, I hear a lot of people say that NASA brushes the photos. Well, you know what? That brushing that you're seeing most often isn't a brushed out um, uh, structure. It's the structure looks brushed out. It's a different wavelength. You're seeing different objects right here that we can't see. The wavelengths look like smoke or haze. Come to that conclusion because it's a fact. This is a surface of an unknown planet that is, I don't know how many light years away, my friends, but we can see it. And of course we can. There were so many suns around this darn object, beautiful object, bright as heck, you know, uh, but no luminosity to the planet whatsoever. There's no, uh, aside from this light, of course, this lit dome, just like on the moon, I'm starting to wonder if some of these are not naturally formed when you look at them. We're really close here, but just to get you an idea, it's beautiful. And look at the light sources all around this 
uh, structure. Now you see, structures themselves would be on top of this uh, big platform. And it's getting into that um, area to be able to see them. But either way, I'm able to get into at least enough of the surface over top view to see uh, what's there, you know, to get an idea of some of the outline of uh, the structures and of the surface here. So, you know, guys, I owe you a big thank you um, for those who, you know, it's very controversial, this channel. And uh, look at the structure <laughs> or object anomaly. There's a shadow underneath it. Maybe it's hovering, it's floating. Anyways, you know, it takes, um, it's not everyone that can understand what's out there and what we're seeing. But I assure you, um, these aren't fake. These are the website contributors. That telescope, 14 inches, CGX L1400, 3900 millimeter telescope is on its way. I can't wait. I'm sort of flipping out. Um, guys, check out WSO YouTube channel. On Tuesdays, uh, Steve and I, Steve Olson, the host, we talk about what's up in the sky. And now we start talking about what's on the moon.